Good day, everybody. Thank you for joining me, and I want to talk to you a little bit about low-carb ketogenic eating and cheating. Basically, going off your eating plan and how to get back onto it so that you can uh, be successful in the long term. So, my name is Derek Mitchell, and my email address is niagaraedge at gmail.com. It's a beautiful Sunday morning here in the Niagara region. It's going to be a nice warm day again in the middle of summer. So, um, sometimes you uh, get into a situation where you're finding yourself go off plan and you're eating whatever you choose instead of uh, following a ketogenic low carb eating plan. And when that happens, what are you going to do to get back to it? And I'll just give you a little personal experience about what I went through and my challenges recently over the last couple of months. So, within the last two, three months, uh, on the early end of that spectrum, I was at work and had a couple of potlucks where I cheated. And I've also cheated recently as well um, at a barbecue that um, was a minor cheat, but still a cheat nonetheless. So let's talk about those experiences. I think the best way for you to uh, get an understanding of your situation is to experiment with your own body and the food that you intake. But if you cheat, if you go off plan, how do you get back to it? This is really the core of today's uh, video. My uh, problem over the, when I was uh, with the potlucks at work, I had a real hard time getting back to keto, keto or low carb eating. And I want to talk about that. So what I tried to do is my focus is generally to try to get back to it as soon as possible after you have your off day or off meal. Um, so that you can slowly get back to the proper way of eating. My philosophy is 90% of the time eat properly, not 10% of the time you go off the course. Uh, if you can do 100-0, you know, fine. But I find it a lot of people just can't do that. So what do you do after cheating? Uh, you will make a choice on how long you're going to cheat. You do make a choice. It's not something that, you know, something uh, somebody else or some other entity has control over it, you make the choice of what you eat. But carbohydrates, when you start eating them, make you crave more carbohydrates and it makes it very challenging to get back to eating the way you want to. And that's the way it was with me. After my last couple of, uh, not the most recent one, but the ones before that, after those at work, I found myself struggling to get back on plan. I eventually did. But in the interim, over the last two, two three months, I found myself gaining about 15, 20 pounds from my goal weight. And I found I was uh, getting a little bit frustrated and wanted to figure out what was going on. So what I needed to do was experiment and just try to eat the best way I could, get physical activity, but not to the point where you're pushing your body too hard because you don't want hormones such as cortisol being released in your body and therefore frustrating the experience even more. And I think that's what happened with me is that I was stressing myself out about it because I knew the way I was eating was right, but it just wasn't getting the results that I wanted. So what did I do on a practical level is I just tried to straighten it up and eat the most clean way I could. And that really helped the experience. Plus, get activity, go out and mow the lawn, take walks, um, swim if you like to swim, but be get out of the house when the weather is suitable for it, depending on what you prefer. I prefer the warmer weather. Some people prefer the winter. I do not. So get out there, be active, eat the right things. And the right things for us who are ketogenic are eat healthy fats such as coconut oil, avocado oil, some butter, uh, meat, um, fats from meats, and stay away from those processed veg vegetable oils. And also, when you're gonna you're gonna have uh, you're gonna ingest plenty of fluids, so you don't stay hydrated. So you don't want you want your body to work efficiently, and you want to get a good night's sleep. You want to avoid sugar. Try to avoid sweeteners too. You know, if you need to be have some sweeteners, try to keep it to stevia, maybe erythritol, depending on what works in your body. But experiment. But what do you do after cheating? You get back and you slowly eat the right things. You um, maybe have a... I, I've been including vegetables and, and with eggs and making frittatas lately. Excellent, very tasty. I can take them to work uh, um, for lunch. And they're very filling, tasty. And they're right on, on plan for the ketogenic eating. Um, I still drink coffee. Some people, coffee's okay. Other people, it's not. Dairy, it... Um, 
it depends on whether you can tolerate it or not. You need to test yourself. You know, try going without dairy for a week and see if that improves your results. Um, but after my my earlier two potlucks, I found myself still going up in weight, even though I was doing the right things. Uh, there were times when I would have uh, whipped cream from a can just to satisfy my sweet tooth. Uh, but I was generally doing the right things, and I, I just found myself creeping up and creeping up. And I finally was about 20 pounds heavier. And over the last week, I did cheat uh, uh, last weekend. But what I did this time after cheating is I, I started right back the next day, and um, I, I basically got myself into clean eating and I didn't starve myself don't ever starve yourself but if you choose to intermittent fast that can work as well but clean eat don't eat too much eat the right things and just keep moving forward slowly and you'll find yourself correcting that course and your cravings for carbohydrates will go away so that's really what it comes down to so and also don't beat yourself up about it. don't stress yourself out that makes things worse if you cheat make you made the choice to cheat move forward Cheating is just going off course, that's all. It's just another word for it. So don't don't let it be a problem. Move forward and you'll be fine. If you do have any questions about anything, including cheating or ketogenic eating or, or anything else in that area, I'm happy to address them. My email is niagaraedge at gmail.com. If you do like this video, please like it at the bottom of the YouTube. And if you haven't subscribed and you think you'd like to see more, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I want to thank you for your time. I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and we will talk soon. Bye.